Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about my thoughts on the James Gunn DCU-like superhero costumes and stuff like that, like Superman suit and the Justice League International. So, okay, here's the thing. When you make like a superhero property, whether right, it's a TV show or like a movie or whatever, you always want to put your best foot forward. You know, you always want to have like an amazing suit, good writing, good direction, a good story, all of that. You know, I remember back in the early 2000s when they made the Spider-Man movies, a lot of people complained and they asked, you know, how in the world did Peter Parker, who's as poor as he is, make that amazing looking suit in a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man uh, movie? And that's valid criticism because it's kind of like that was like a very impressive suit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he just made it on like what little salary he had. Now, granted, they, he did start off with a makeshift costume and stuff like that. And, you know, eventually, you know, he just like, you know, made a better looking suit. But when he made a better looking suit, you know, he didn't even have a job at that time, I don't think. So I can understand the criticism there. And then they went a little bit better in the Amazing Spider-Man by, you know, having him build like multiple suits and variations and you see him actually working on it and, you know, stuff like that. But no matter what, you always want to have a good suit. Here with James Gunn. Now here is the problem with his suits. They look extremely low grade. Now I've already said before, I don't like the Superman suit. Plain and simple as that, I just don't like the Superman suit. I don't like the unnecessary lines. I don't like the trunks. I don't like how like baggy it is for some reason. Now in some other shots, it looks a bit better, but there's all these cringes and wrinkles like around that chest area. That's not his pecs. That's an actual wrinkle and stuff. And it's just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like the overall design of like how the cape fits on it and stuff like that now i am hoping this is going to be a good movie because i want to enjoy this movie and you know here's the thing about suits suits don't make the movie you can still have a good movie with a good story and everything but you can also have like a bad suit but now we get into the justice league international James Gunn needs to be ashamed of himself. He needs to be embarrassed. These are some terrible suits, plain and simple as that. And I've seen so many people defend those suits on Twitter to the point of like utter laughter and everything. Because see, here's the thing. You got three different groups. You got just regular DC fans. You got the Snyderverse fans. And then you have the James Gunn fans. And just like the Snyderverse fans, the James Gunn fans, they defend these suits left and right. They defend every decision he makes left and right. And it makes you stop and wonder, do they really, really, really like these suits? Or are they just defending them because, you know, they're huge like James Gunn fans and stuff. That's where it's hard to differentiate in everything. Guy Gardner Green Lantern suit is atrocious. It doesn't even look like a Green Lantern suit because it's not supposed to. It's supposed to look like that Mr. Terrific suit. And honestly, it's not even really a jacket. It's more like a vest, but they're all wearing leather. I'm okay with leather. I like leather. But these suits look like something from Smallville. I've seen some people say, oh, it looks like the Arrowverse or something from the CW. Y'all got to take y'all minds back 20 years ago to Smallville with the leather coats, the hoodies and stuff like that, and the leather. And so it's very early 2000s. Now, granted, Smallville was on the CW for the last couple of seasons, but the first couple of seasons was a WB. And honestly, it's embarrassing when the CW Arrowverse can make a better looking suit than <laughs> a movie quality suit. Cause you gotta stop and remember, this is a actual movie, not, not a low budget television show. And the fact that the CW is able to make a low budget, good looking costume is embarrassing when compared to that of a movie.
And it's to the point where James Gunn has literally made the old Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern suit look like a masterpiece. Now, personally, I like that suit design, the basic overall design. I just don't like all the lines in the suit. Like it looks like muscular lines upon like muscular lines and veins. I don't like that, but I do like the overall basic look of the suit. But a lot of people did not like that movie. They've come around now, but it's so embarrassing. Like when you look at Guy Gardner's suit and you look at that. And I've seen some people also say, well, maybe they wore other suits early on in the movie, but now they wear these suits. Stop using that excuse. Just admit that these suits look terrible and we can all move on. And now we have Hot Girl. I feel bad for this actress. First, she was in Dora the Explorer and that didn't work out for her. Then she was in Madame Webb and that really didn't work out for her. Now she has this Kmart looking suit. Not even a Walmart <laughs> looking suit, but a Kmart looking suit. Now, if you're old, then you know what Kmart is. And this suit on like Hot Girl is just is mr terrific suit like it just looks bad the color scheme is fine it's just the overall look of it you know it's super cheap then you get to the mask and the mask looks like a big hunk of plastic in everything now granted you can't really see the mask too good because of the grainy photo and stuff but it just looks like cheap 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 material and what's even worse is like i said before <laughs> the cw can do much better now first let's compare it to a, a way better design hawkman from the black adam movie black adam movie was not a very good movie but at least the suits were on point of how a superhero suit is supposed to look hawkman overall costume and wings looked amazing his helmet eh, is cgi goopity goop but at least the overall shape of it's fine. It's just that shiny CGI crap that I don't like. But nevertheless, it is superior to whatever Hot Girl is wearing. Okay, let's go to Hot Girl from Smallville when it was on the CW. Do you see that helmet? Do you see how nice that helmet look? That's a Hot Girl helmet. It looks faithful. It looks like nice, whatever material is made of to look like metal and everything. It looks nice. Granted, nobody ever wore that helmet because she was already dead in the series. But it looks way better than the helmet that we have for like, you know, the James Gunn movie. Now let's look at Hawkman. That is a faithful old school Hawkman helmet. And it looks great and everything. Then you compare it to his overall bodysuit. And if the CW can make a faithful looking Hawkman, I know James Gunn can, cause James Gunn is all about being old school. But this Hawkman suit looks way better than that of like what Hawk Girl is wearing. And this was a low budget show from back in the early 20, well, it was around 2010, around that time. But like, yeah, it's an old school, like, you know, budget of a suit. Now, this CW Arrowverse Hawks and everything, who only appeared in the first season of like, um, Legends of Tomorrow, because I guess like, you know, it takes a lot of money to make their CGI wings and whatnot. Now, their helmets look really cool. It has more of a granite kind of stone kind of metal look to it. And it looks really cool. Once again, low budget. And it looks a whole lot better than that plastic thing that what's the name is wearing in the James Gunn movie. You know, like you can clearly tell like this is a more updated version of the Hawk people and their helmets and stuff. Their overall suits look pretty fine. You know, even though they're leather, they're leather in a birdie kind of look and everything. It looks very old school, updated, modern, medieval look to it. Still a whole lot more better than what James Gunn came up with. And this is just embarrassing. Like this is really is. And you know, I hate to be negative and everything, but when you watch a movie, you want the suits to look amazing. And so far they just don't.
So the general thought online is that Maxwell Lord made these suits for the Justice League International because his logo is right in the center of all their suits, which Okay, first of all, this movie is too stuffed with characters. Now, they're most likely they're not going to be in um, throughout the entirety of the movie. But the fact is, it's still way too stuffed. Like, why are you going to have Maxwell Lord and Lex Luthor be in the same freaking movie when they're basically the same exact character, just one has superpowers and stuff? Like, they're both billionaire evil guys. Like, why are you going to have both of them in the movie? That just don't make no sense, but whatever, it's James Gunn, you know what I'm saying? And so the general consensus is that Master of Lord made these suits. And they're more like uniform type thing. All right, fine, whatever. But it takes away from the specialness of how their suits look in the comics. And when it comes to Mr. Terrific, everybody said originally that suit was spot on. Like it's basically a Mr. Terrific suit with some altercations here and there. Just slight altercations, like there's more white in it. Um, like it's, it, it, you have to look at the comic and stuff like that. And when you look at like his suit, you know, it, like everybody said it's spot on. Now people feel like hypocrites because now they see the Justice League International had the same exact suits. And now it's kind of like one, that takes away from the specialness of like Mr. Terrific in his suit because now it's kind of like, oh, well he didn't even make his own suit. He didn't design his own suit, you know, or maybe when they worked for Maxwell Lord, maybe he liked Mr. Terrific suit and told him to make the rest of the suits. You know, it could be one of those two situations. But the thing is, it's like, I've seen so many people defend this, like those suits in the strangest way. Well, you know, Maxwell Lord made those suits. Okay. <sighs> people, you do know that the difference between reality and fiction, right? Like, I hope you do. <laughs> Cause if you don't, then that's going to be a major problem because of the simple fact that Maxwell Lord is not a real person. Some suit designer person made that suit and James Gunn approved it. Or James Gunn came up with it. But most likely he didn't come up with it because it's just literally Mr. Terrific suit and all these other people are wearing it. So it's just like the whole Avengers thing with Captain America. Coulson did not make that suit. Somebody made that suit and um josh whedon approved it so that is that so please stop using that excuse that's just an lame pathetic excuse for you trying to validate a director either you like or you just want this movie to succeed now like i said before a suit will not make the movie and this movie might be the most amazing thing we've ever seen but you know it's the suits that's gonna make people cringe every time they see it because a good looking superhero suit is supposed to be like the cherry on top of a cake and everything or a pie or whatever you put a cherry on top of but anyway <laughs> like you know it, it's just you always put your best foot forward what you present to people is going to be how they look at a project and how they look at you. When James Gunn revealed that Superman suit that's battle worn and he slowly put on his boots as something's going on in Metropolis, that made people just be like, what the heck are you doing, James? Like, that's not the type of promo picture you want to put out. This makes you feel tired. It makes it feel lazy. And it's just not energetic enough. It's kind of like a movie trailer. You want your best movie trailer out. You don't want no crappy movie trailer out. You also don't want to reveal too much, but you don't want to reveal too little. And that's what these pictures are doing. Not, I didn't even put up the picture of Mr. Terrific flying on that stupid chair thing. That thing is stupid. You hear me? It's stupid. Anyways, I, I just don't understand James Gunn. I know a lot of people do the whole in James Gunn we trust. I don't trust that man. I've never trusted that man. I've never liked really none of the movies he's directed except for Suicide Squad. But when it comes to his writing, there, you know, I actually like his writing in a lot of the movies and stuff. 
And there are some movies he written for I had no idea because he was uncredited and you have to like look it up on Wikipedia and stuff. Alrighty, well I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.